Well, now I understand just how you managed to defeat Frieza. But it ends there. I see nothing more. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I'll show you my strongest form. Super Saiyan 3! Run for it, Bubbles! My oh my. Oh, not bad. I'm almost impressed. There is strong evidence in the Dragon Ball Super manga that Gohan's next transformation will be Beast 3 and it is littered throughout the DBS manga guys. I found all the information for you plus a quote from Akira Toriyama explaining Super Saiyan 3 and its relationship to Super Saiyan giving us even more foresight into what Gohan's next level is going to be. So in today's video, I will answer all those questions for you guys and show you why Beast 3 is not just a possibility, but absolutely a probability at this point it is going to happen. And as always, huge shout out to the Black Squad. You guys are awesome. It was my birthday this past weekend. I turned 34, but the best birthday present I got was all the happy birthday wishes I got from you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You guys are always here hitting that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You guys are the shit. Let's jump in. So the way I started this video was Goku's first showcase of Super Saiyan 3 in the DBS manga, and it is literally the first time we see it again in Dragon Ball Super. And it is a scene where Beerus tells Goku he understands why Super Saiyan defeated Frieza. It makes sense, but Beerus doesn't know that there are more forms after Super Saiyan, and that is when Goku shows him Super Saiyan 3. Now, Beerus says he is almost impressed, and it is unclear whether he is impressed or almost impressed with the power of Super Saiyan 3, or he's almost impressed with the fact that Goku could keep going and transforming and getting even more and more transformations. That is unclear, but because Goku basically loses relatively easily to Beerus in Super Saiyan 3. I believe that Beerus is talking about his ability to go into new transformations, which Beerus had no idea Goku could do. So we fast forward to when Goku goes and recruits Android 17. It is a part of the manga that I had never read before. I've seen it again in the Dragon Ball Super anime, but I've never actually read it. And in this, Goku goes to recruit Android 17, but he finds some poachers and dispatches them first, but then puts on a mask. And when he puts on the mask, Android 17 has no idea who he is, and once Android 17 pushes him a little bit, Goku ends up removing the mask and transforming into Super Saiyan 3 to face off against 17, which, you know, 17's not gonna even know who that is because Android 17 has never seen Super Saiyan 3 Goku before. In this fight, we see that Android 17 initially has a hard time facing off against Goku in Super Saiyan 3 because Goku is easily blocking all of Android 17's punches, which is a little bit strange because in the anime, Android 17 is literally Super Saiyan Blue level, if not a little bit below that, but he is really, really powerful with his own abilities and techniques. And the fact that he has no stamina drain makes him a huge threat to anybody who's facing him. But in this, Goku is easily swatting him away. So it's kind of like the first time we get a hint that there's a little bit of respect on Super Saiyan 3 in the manga. But that is when it all changes and 17 pushes Goku toward the ground and 17's worried that he's going to destroy the fauna, but Goku uses instant transmission to get out of the way. Realizing that 17 versus Goku, that fight was about to destroy the preserve, the nature preserve that he has been guarding, it's his job. He ends up pushing Goku well into the sky to get him away from the island. Once that happens, Android 17, he ends up powering up a key bomb, aiming it directly at Goku. And you would think with what happened earlier, Goku would have no problem facing off against this, but that is when Goku has this face right here. And 
he starts yelling at 17 that he is Goku and powers down so that 17 recognizes him because, you know, they never actually officially met, at least not in this timeline. But this shows the level of strength of 17 so perfectly where he is facing off against Goku in Super Saiyan 3. He's having a tough time of it because it is an overpowering transformation. But once he is having to dig deep, he can dig deep into those endless stamina reserves and create energy that is just so potent that even Goku realized it was something that Super Saiyan 3 was not going to be able to stop or survive. But here we go again, another time where Super Saiyan 3 is something that is being tested. It's something that is being tested against other characters to showcase how strong those characters actually are because Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the pinnacle of Dragon Ball Z. He was the one that defeated Kid Buu. He is the ending transformation in the last fight in DBZ. So he is the pinnacle and in all of Dragon Ball Super, we just have all these different characters testing themselves out against Super Saiyan 3. And that is when we get to Super Saiyan 3's last appearance as something to be tested against. And that is when Topo fights off against Super Saiyan 3 in the fight leading up to the Torment of Power. Goku transforms into Super Saiyan and Beerus tells him to transform even more. He, you need to get more power and so Goku transforms into Super Saiyan 3. Now you would think Super Saiyan 3 against Topo, it would be something similar to what happened before where Goku would even stand somewhat of a chance against him, but that is not the case whatsoever because Goku loses so badly in Super Saiyan 3 that this transformation is from this point on shelved and maybe makes minor appearances but for the most part it is not something that is used at all in any sort of fight because now it has been usurped by the presence of power by the pinnacle of power that is Topo at this moment and this is something that Goku needs to get beyond and that is why he inevitably goes into Super Saiyan God. I mean even Goku says this what's going on I'm not catching up to his power level at all and this is the one flaw that Goku has with his Super Saiyan transformations and Super Saiyan 3 transformation and it is something that Akira Toriyama has stated before and this is the reason that Goku initially going to Super Saiyan 3 thinking that it would be at least on a similar playing field like something he can play around with with Topo he could not catch up to his level because Topo's level was constantly increasing and that is the reason that Goku realized at that moment the Super Saiyan 3 is not something that he can use to play around with anymore because everybody else is just so much stronger. So what did Akira Toriyama say? Akira Toriyama stated in the Saikyo Jump June 2014 interview that Super Saiyan 2 and 3 are nothing more than powered up variants of Super Saiyan and that mastering Super Saiyan could increase its power beyond that of Super Saiyan 2 and 3 while draining less energy. Case and point, this fight right here. This is well before the Topo fight. So this is one of the fights that Goku actually has with Super Saiyan 3 in the manga. And in this video, I've shown you all of them. But this fight specifically showcases exactly what Akira Toriyama stated right here. Goku and Trunks are sparring. This is what Beerus and Whis say. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they're both using their Super Saiyan 2 forms, aren't they? Yes, I believe that is the case. But while their current power levels may be in the same class, Trunks has, albeit ever so slightly, the upper hand. Goku says, amazing, you're even stronger than Gohan was back then. It's been 10 years. I've been training every day as if my life depended on it. In that case, let me introduce you to a world you never even knew existed, huh? and he transforms into Super Saiyan 3. And Goku says this is one of the transformation levels above yours. And Trunks is astonished. He says, I see, so there was still yet another form. Be that as it may, I never settled for the power this transformation form brings. So, and that is when Trunks does this. He pushes Super Saiyan well beyond what normally 
it could have. Well, this is Super Saiyan 2. He pushes Super Saiyan 2 well beyond what the normal Super Saiyan 2 level is to the point where Vegeta says he hasn't even transformed, but he's powered up nearly the same amount as Kakarot has in Super Saiyan 3. Meaning that Trunks' Super Saiyan is stronger and has the ability to be even more powerful than even Goku's Super Saiyan 3 transformation. So, so if Trunks' is Super Saiyan 2 transformation is this powerful, the reason is what Akira Toriyama stated. The reason is that it is this powerful because he has mastered that form or he has continued to master the Super Saiyan transformation. As long as he masters the Super Saiyan transformation, the power that it brings is more and can be more than any of these subsequent transformations. That would also mean that if he went on this path and then eventually unlocked Super Saiyan 3, as long as he kept powering up Super Saiyan 1 and training it, or the Super Saiyan 2 transformation and training it, Super Saiyan 3 would be equally as powerful. And that's exactly what happened here. This is the reason that Trunks, just by powering up more Super Saiyan 2, he is at the level of Goku in Super Saiyan 3, because he has been for 10 years only with Super Saiyan and knowing Super Saiyan in and out, he's essentially mastered it. And this is just so true to the point where when Trunks attacks Goku, Goku who thought he had the upper hand and he's being a little bit cheeky, he actually ends up dodging and kicking Trunks in the back of the head, almost knocking him out and everybody who can see it saw what he did. I mean Vegeta's not really happy about it, but Beerus says for a split second he used his god form, didn't he? And Whis is like Goku as immature as ever. That means Goku just didn't want to lose to Trunks at that point and decided to crank it up a notch because God form is just going to be so much more powerful than what Trunks had at that moment. So how does this all correlate to Gohan? Gohan is in a transformation right now that is basically Super Saiyan with all his potential unlocked. That is why his ultimate form is his base form essentially and then after that the beast form is that version's super saiyan transformation and he has essentially mastered that within a week he's mastered the beast transformation within a week he knows it in and out so he is doing exactly what akira toriyama said as long as you master the super saiyan transformation everything else will be stronger gohan has mastered beast now there's only one way for him to go, and that is into something else. And the way that the Dragon Ball Super manga specifically has been using Super Saiyan 3 as a measuring stick for everybody else and not letting him get the dub, this is clear to me that Beast is going to be going into a Super Saiyan 3 variant, or a Beast 3 if you will, because now that Beast is mastered, the Super Saiyan 3 transformation is going to be something that's way stronger in that, in that form. Not only showing that Akira Toriyama's words ring true, but bringing back dignity to the Super Saiyan 3 transformation by adding it to Beast. And having that be the ultimate form for Gohan, who has now mastered Beast, I highly doubt that they're going to just leave it at that. Gohan has gotten a taste, and now he's going to be pushing forward and i guarantee you that in the next few arcs we're gonna see a beast 3 transformation but let me know what you guys think this is going to be blackscape signing off take care guys subscribe for more content oh,